students deliver these programs collaboratively. Collaboratively, this would include, this would include, uh, sorry, this would include our Bachelor's of Information Technology in partnership with Carleton University and our Bachelor of Science in Nursing in partnership with the University of Ottawa. So a big advantage to this collaborative program is you're a full-time student in both institutions and you can go in and out as you like. Another very uh, cool program here we have is the animation program at our Ottawa campus. It's actually been ranked number 10 animation program in the entire world and number six in all of Canada. And we also have our School of Business, which is the largest school of business in the Ottawa area. And just a quick note before I move on, we also have something called PLAR. It's in all of our campus. PLAR is prior learning assessment recognition. It allows you to receive courses, credit for non-academic life experience, such as employment, community work, independent study, on the job training, volunteering, or travel and leisure. And now another final thing I'd like to add on before our time runs out is something very cool and very new is our brand new athletic and recreation center. The full name is Jack Doyle Athletic and Recreation Center, the ARC. It's a $50 million project. It's a hundred thousand dollars. It's a hundred thousand square feet. It has going to have multiple new gymnasiums, fresh air courtyard for CrossFit training. Uh, we have an indoor track, if, an indoor track, and it's going to have some bowling lanes. And not the baby five pin bowling lanes with the rope. It's an actual bowling with ten pins and a bowling ball and all that, you know. And we have virtual golf simulators, rock climbing, studios for mixed martial arts, and yoga. So, including also our brand new restaurant and hospitality area. And there are no user fees for all our full-time students. Another thing we uh, place very high importance on is ensuring that all of our learners feel, feel supported throughout the length of our academic journey. And we have tons of support and services just to help you do that. And that is the end of my presentation. Please come out, check out the break room. We'd love to hear from you. I'll go into more detail about our grad certs, our grad studies, and credit transfer opportunities available throughout the conference. Thank you very much. Great, that was perfect. Uh, great timing. Uh, next up, we're going to have Becky from Brock and the Goodman School of Business. Hi, everybody. Um, well, wow. Okay, it's really hard to follow Bowling Alley, so I will do my best, but I mean, that is awesome. I, I think I would love that, even though I'm terrible at bowling. Um, if it's okay, I am going to share a super quick presentation post disabled participant screen sharing. Okay, maybe not. Um, that's all right, don't worry about it. I, I'm not too worried about it. I'm here today to talk about our graduate programs, primarily our MBA. Um, so we do have a full-time, part-time and international student option for our MBA. I'll just go through and make sure I'm not missing anything here. Um, we also have exchange opportunities and dual degree opportunities that are available. If students are not interested in doing a two-year program and are looking for something a little bit quicker, we do have a graduate diploma in business administration, which is essentially half an MBA, which is pretty cool. It gives you all of that foundational knowledge in business. So at a glance, this is a, a two-year program. Typical to, to most other programs, you'll have about 15 hours of class per week. Uh, we keep our class sizes quite small. That's a really big Brock thing. I'm pretty excited about that with um, no more than 45 students in your core classes and 25 in your elective classes. So we do offer specializations, uh, finance, human resource management, business analytics, operations management, marketing, and accounting, which is CPA accredited. Uh, you do not need to know anything about these subjects before you specialize. And um, you are also able to do a general MBA. If you're not sure what it is that you're interested in or vice versa, if you have very specific interests, you can pick and choose the electives that work for you and kind of build your own MBA as it were. We have a lot of students that come in um, from a sports management background. Oh, it might work now if you wanna share or keep rolling. Okay, sounds good. Well, I'll try it, see what happens. Oh, hey, it's gonna work. Awesome, sounds good, but I'm gonna try to talk fast. <laughs> Um, can you just give me a nod that you can see that okay? Okay, I'm not seeing the little green uh, box around it, but all we can good. see okay. it. Thumbs up. Thank you so much. Okay, moving right along. Um, 
So we do have advanced standing, but I can't tell you a whole lot about that because I'm not part of the admissions committee, but we do offer free pre-assessment. So that's your big takeaway for this. I will put the link up in a moment. Another big takeaway is that we do not require a business undergrad to get an MBA. We welcome students from all academic backgrounds. So regardless of what you are studying right now, as long as you meet the requirements, we would welcome your application. If you're not sure, that's where that pre-assessment comes in and we're happy to, um, to chat with students and let them know if they qualify. Sorry, I'm gonna skip over these ones. If students are interested, we can chat about that more. I just wanted to put this up on the screen, portal.bus.brocky.ca. That is where students are gonna go if they're interested in a pre-assessment. Um, how are we doing on time? I think we're doing all right. There are so many different things that I could tell you about with regards to Brock University and the Goodman School of Business. Um, I am a two-time Brock grad myself. So um, again, I don't know if I can... <laughs> talk about a bowling alley, even though I think that is like the coolest thing ever. Uh, we do have a lot of good stuff going on both inside and outside the classroom. Um, we have a brand new gym facility, so I can talk about that. Our zone has recently been expanded. It is um, tripled in size, if I remember correctly. That was the only good thing about this whole pandemic situation is that they were able to finish all of the construction for that. Uh, so now you don't have to do this crazy walk around to get to the gym. So um, I think I've just uh, chatted about the most imp important things that I wanted to uh, tell to the group today, but I do have a lot more to share with regards to the nitty gritty about our programs and different things happening at Brock University and the Goodman School of Business. So I look forward to chatting with students later. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, if you could just unshare, perfect. Uh, next up, we're gonna pass it over to Colleen from Cambrian. Hi everybody, I'm Colleen Heidman. I'm the digital recruiter for Cambrian College. I'm just gonna rearrange my screens here and share. I'm going to show you how to find information on our website so you can look it up afterward. Uh, can somebody tell me that they can see my website? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. I see nods. <laughs> okay, so when you get to our website, cambriancollege.ca, I've opened a bunch of instances because my internet's running a little slowly, so I'm, I'm working from home. Um, so on our website, at the top here, you'll find some menus uh, that will be very useful as you're, you know, taking that initial look at Cambrian. Um, I want to show you this book a tour link because, whoops, and then I didn't end up. <laughs> going to the ones I had opened. You can book a campus tour virtual or um, in person, but down here at the bottom of the page, you'll find contact information for our recruitment team. And after this presentation or after this fair, if you have more questions, you can uh, contact any one of us, our email addresses and our cell numbers are there to text and see this live chat on our website also. That is staffed, it's not robots, it's staffed by our students and um, they are backed up by our team. We have a WhatsApp group that we answer their questions on. So there's lots of ways to reach us for further uh, information. But at the top here, if you click on uh, about, you can find out more about Cambrian. We're the largest college in Northern Ontario. So that means we're kind of a medium college. And the big advantage of course, of going to a smaller college is the smaller classes that I'm sure you're used to probably at Nipissing as well. Um, so then when you get to our programs, you can find, and I'm gonna click on full-time programs here. And you'll see on our page, at the top, there's an opportunity to get a copy of, you can download or view or ask us to mail you our career guide that outlines all about Cambrian. And then our programs are divided up by, we call them schools of or program groupings. And all of the programs are listed there. These are the ones that you could look at for possible advanced standing and transfer credits from your degree to come in and get the related diploma and get like the hands-on experience that is included with a diploma program. But I'm gonna click on grad cert graduate certificate programs because I really wanna show you those. They're specifically designed for people who've already graduated from something, so a diploma or a degree. Most of them, it's a generally any degree or diploma. There are a few specialty ones, like to take the advanced paramedic, you have to have taken paramedic. <laughs> but for most of them, uh, it's any degree or diploma. And there are 19 postgrad certificates. We have super flexible options. So I think it might be at the bottom of the page here. Sorry. No, it's not. We have startup in uh, September, November, January, March, May, and July. So there are six different periods that you can start your program. I'm just gonna click on one to show you where to find all this information. 
On the first page of any of our grad certificate programs, you'll find a good overview, um, lots of different details about the program. But when you click on view complete program details, you get to this part with a menu on the side. There's a good overview of the program um, and there's some options about part time. You can also study part time. You can study online. Many of them are completely online, uh, but you also can do an on campus option and that's all outlined in these pages. Under admissions, you'll see what is required to get into the program. Program delivery tells you the start dates that we have. So like I said, we have all these different start times so that we can really fit into your lifestyle, your employment. If you're working, you can study part-time or full-time depending on how your schedule works. When you click on program of study, you can see every subject you're gonna take in the program. And that's the same in our two-year programs as well. And you can click on these and get like a description of what is involved in the class. Also could be looking through these to be looking for subjects that you might need a transfer credit in. The program coordinator information is always on the side here. And if you have in, uh, questions that are program specific, you can ask the program coordinator they're experts in their field. They have tons of experience. Many of them, most of them designed the program or re redesigned the program. And so they are the experts about the program itself. If you have questions about anything else, you can go to that um, book a tour link at the top and contact any of us to ask any questions. And I am giving away a $50 Amazon gift card at the end of this. Oops, I'm trying to stop my share. I'm giving away an Amazon gift card at the end of this fair, and I'm gonna put a link in the chat that you can use to enter the draw. This isn't one of those draws of everybody, all the names I collect for a year. This is whoever enters the draw from today, I'm going to draw at the end of the fair. That's it for me. Come see me in my breakout room. I'll give you lots more information and I can share that link again if you like. Thank you. Great, thank you, Colleen. Uh, we're gonna pass it over to Jonathan now from Canador, our neighbors. Oh. Right. Good morning, neighbor, and everybody else. I hope you're all having a great day, and you've uh, the tryptophan has uh, slowly, you know, gotten out of your system, and you're you know fully functional uh, after a turkey weekend. Hope everyone had a safe and happy holiday, and were able to connect with family and friends remotely or safely or closely or however you did it because uh, i'm sure we're, we're all needing it and uh, that uh, the remoteness and digitalness and the, the situation that we're going and uh, going through um, can't be understated and i know our institution and i'm sure right across the board um, everyone's making great strides to continue to deliver a quality education in Ontario. Um, as students and prospective students, you're, you're spoiled, honestly, to have so many great institutions in our province, you know, uh, just, just with a bevy of options. You know, I'm always a big proponent of you need to find what's right for you, wherever that may be, and you're very lucky to have the access you have. Um, throughout all these colleges. So I'm hopeful that everyone that joins us today is able to get some information um, that continues to spark their passion for education, their career plans, whether it's at Canada or anywhere else, um, you're going to find some wonderful education. Um, specifically closer to home, obviously those of you that are uh, joining us this morning that are already uh, nipsing students or soon to be grads, uh, you have a sense of what North Bay is all about. You know about the beauty of North Bay. I don't have to explain that to you. If you woke up and looked out your window and came up the hill this morning, you saw the leaves, you saw what it, you know what we're going through and you know what's coming too so hopefully you've got your winter clothes out and ready to come because uh, that that's coming uh, don't let today's 27 degrees fool you um, so so you know what North Bay is all about and one of obviously the advantages of continuing your education um, in this area is you've you know you've maybe already started to put down some roots some familiarity with the city um, comfort levels with the institution obviously sharing um, uh, the building with Nipissing you're familiar with um, you know the the the, the supports uh, getting around and actually, quite honestly, with COVID going on, you're familiar with the protocols uh, and what it takes to be on campus and be comfortable, uh, whether that be online or virtually. Um, Canador has um, created a plan, a academic delivery plan that is accessible for all to see, uh, to know what programs are running either completely online uh, in a hybrid model or on campus. And I will say that we've had been very fortunate um, during, the, uh, during the pandemic to deliver a large number of our programs um, in person. Uh, we had to do a lot of shifting to make the room and make everything safe and sound, but we did our best to do that because we know uh, the value 
of being in class, being face-to-face, -face, and especially with a large number of our programs, having those specialized hands-on skills that just frankly cannot be replicated um, through, through the online. So for those of you wondering what kind of offerings Canadora has starting in winter or moving forward, that information is available for you and happy to talk about it in the breakout room. Uh, we've got 80, more than 80 uh, full-time programs, many part-time programs as well um, that are available to you to, to really feed any passion that you're into, whether it's newly discovered passion or one that you've been working towards um, and you're now looking to maybe refine your skills in the hands-on world with you know some of the fundamental theoretical knowledge that you've gained through uh, uh, through your prior schooling uh, we've got some exciting new programs that we've just launched in the last uh, 12 months or so including uh, some entrepreneurship programs we've really started to build our entrepreneurship uh, school um, with a business uh, functional genomics uh, clinical consultation some really cool advanced manufacturing and robotics stuff as we all know the uh, term Terminator reality is just a matter of time. Uh, so to make sure you're on the right side of things, you know, learn, learn about robots and uh, get friendly with them as they become our overlords in the future. Um, uh, recording engineering, music production, game design development. So some really exciting um, and very topical and timely career paths await you at Canada College. Uh, for those of you just looking for something quick to just kind of add on and complement to what you've already done uh, with your time, we have a number of uh, you know, grad certificates um, that, you know, especially if you're looking at the trades, lots of you know, plumbing, welding, fitter, machinist, electrical, electrical technique, sorry, um, personal support worker. I don't have to say how important that, uh, you know, field has been. I think we've all had our eyes open to, um, you know, the aging populations and just the need for proper supports in healthcare. And many people are, are trying to answer the call and step up to that. And we've got many options, um, including uh, the personal support worker, um, you know, caregiving uh, micro credentials and, and all sorts of different things um, that we've got available. So, so we, we can speak about more of that in the break room. I just wanted a chance to say, um, you know, you're doing the right thing by pursuing education in Ontario and you've got great options in front of you. And you know, I'm very thankful that we have an opportunity to share a campus with Nipissing and hopefully today you're able to connect with someone that can, um, you know, help you continue down your educational journey. So thank you for your time. I really appreciate it and hope you get a lot out of today's session. And thank you to the other panelists as well. Nice to see you and maybe one of these days we'll see each other in person. <laughs> have a great one, guys. And thank you for your time. Thank you so much, Jonathan. That was great. Uh, we're going to pass it over to Lynn now uh, from Carleton University. Hey there. So we're a university and we're located in Canada's capital. Um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful city. I can't believe the leaves that are coloring out there right now. And a hop, skip and a jump over to Gatineau in Quebec, uh, where there's all kinds of hiking trails and things to do recreationally over and above your degree. In fact, we're located on a river and on the canal, and the canal is the largest um, of its kind um, in, in Canada and perhaps the world. I know there's a bit of a debate about that, but some students actually skate to school during the wintertime on the canal. Um, being in the capital city of Canada gives you all kinds of advantages. Uh, obviously, federal government is located here. It's a high tech center. Um, there's all kinds of non-profits that are headquartered here, et cetera, et cetera. And that gives you an advantage because 11 of our programs are co-op. Many of them offer paid internships and others partner up um, with different companies, et cetera, to get you experience. But over and above our great location, we have generous funding. We're known as a very caring community. In fact, we have students that switch over to Carleton when they've gone elsewhere because they've heard of, of uh, how good we are in terms of supporting our students. Renowned professors, um, all kinds of people, I won't even name them because they're, they're famous worldwide. And uh, that gives you a chance from a research viewpoint to study with these people. I mean, uh, give you an idea, we've got a guy that's a biology student and he's, he's been raising crickets in his living room over COVID <laughs> uh, because he's trying to plump them up and make them juicier. Why? Because they're full of protein and people are uh, eating them or they're uh, grinding them into flour and putting them on their breakfast cereals, etc. He's working with a company just outside Peterborough. That just gives you an idea. Uh, we've got people who are dealing in chronic pain and fish, um, workplace balance, um, butterfly expert Jane Yak, and all kinds, more than a hundred programs, pathways, and specializations. So 
we are known for our Norman Patterson School of International Affairs, and they do research in areas like terrorism and security, which is really important today. Um, we were one of the founding people in the forensic psychology area, and our grads are all around the world now working in that field. Neuroscience, they created a new health sciences building just a couple of years ago and all kinds of great facilities there, but they're looking at things from obesity and Alzheimer's and depression and how your brain works. Um, the specializations that we have, this is kind of cool because you can sign up for like a master's degree in say English or history, and then you can take a specialization on top of that. So things like African studies or climate change, there's a whole list of them on our website. And what that means is that you can take your main degree, but then you graduate with say an MA in history with a specialization in data science, for example. And speaking of data science, as of 2022, we're offering a brand new program. We're very excited about data science and analytics. And again, there's more about that on our website. We have an outstanding school of business, the Sprott School of Business, and they have just opened a spectacular new building, which is just gorgeous if you look inside it or even from the outside. Um, and uh, biomedicine, I mean, we've got, uh, I think it's one of Canada's hidden secrets, a really amazing school of engineering with specializations in all kinds of different areas. So research, state-of-the-art facilities, amazing professors. Um, and we also offer a very comprehensive professional development program for our grad students. As far as I'm concerned, it's the best in Canada. Sorry, guys, but we have two people working on this. It's a whole curriculum that they develop. They will work with you one-on-one -on, -one on your writing skills or on your career plans, et cetera, et cetera, right on through to workshops and all kinds of other things. So in terms of what you want to take a look at, go to graduate.carleton.ca. That's our admissions homepage. And you will see all the list of programs and all kinds of other things from financial information, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, I'll be in the breakout room awaiting your questions. Um, and, and uh, you know, I really hope you pursue your education. It's, it's a really great thing to do. And I'm a Carlton alum, by the way. Thank you. Great, thank you very much. Uh, we're gonna pass it over to Conestoga now, so to uh, Jason, he's gonna be next. Thanks, I just put my contact info in the chat, okay. Um, hi, my name is Jason Humphrey. I'm a student recruiter here at Conestoga, so. Thanks for tuning in. And for those of you watching this video later, thanks for watching. Uh, Conestoga is one of 13 polytechnic institutes in all of Canada, meaning it's an institution of higher education, providing technical applied hands-on learning, offering degrees, diplomas, graduate certificates, and apprenticeship training. So if you're looking for pathways, Conestoga has you covered from trades and apprenticeship to four-year bachelor's degrees and everything in between. Conestoga has been expanding its footprint in southwestern Ontario with campuses located in Kitchener, Cambridge, Guelph, Ingersoll, Brantford, and Waterloo. All of our programs at Conestoga provide you with some sort of industry experience that will guide you to a career that you are passionate about. We currently have a full-time student population of 22,000, and we offer over 250 programs, 60 of which have co-op, so you get that work experience. And if your program doesn't have co-op, don't worry, you will gain experience through field placements, practicums, simulations, labs, and or capstone projects embedded in all of our programs. So the experience will give you confidence to, to allow you to thrive in your field when you graduate. The region of Waterloo is home to many of our campuses, is one of the fastest growing tech sectors in Canada. It's considered the Silicon Valley of the North. Uh, the region is home to Google, Shopify, Desire to Learn, Vidyards, and hundreds of startups and other uh, tech sector companies. The region provides a great landing spot for many of our graduates across multiple disciplines. For example, Vidyard, who has been recognized for its rapid revenue growth, has approximately 35 Conestoga alumni working at the organization. So did you know that Google, uh, Spotify, and LinkedIn also hire our grads? So Google right now is in our backyard along with all these amazing tech sector companies. Approximately 65% of our graduates remain within the region. So that means they graduate, they like the area, they stay within the area, but that also translates into networking, right? And ultimately connections for graduates to hire you. 
For those of you looking close to graduating and have a bachelor's degree, Conestoga has over 70 graduate certificate programs that can enhance or complement your undergrad credentials. So we have too many to get into here. That's what I'll get into with the breakout room. But graduate certificate programs can be a great opportunity for you to enhance your degree or give you that stepping stone into the career you've always wanted. Conestoga is programming in engineering and technology, business and hospitality, creative industries, applied computer science, health and life sciences, community services, Conestoga as you covered. So I'm originally from North Bay, uh, going way back, a Chippewa grad. I'm also a Canada College grad. Uh, University of Guelph grad and recently Conestoga grad. So I know all about the pathway system and how to take advantage of it. Um, really uh, coming down here uh, to take courses at University of Guelph. I just love the area and end up staying down here. So there's my plug for the South. Uh, that's it for me. So come chat with me in my meeting room. I'd love to talk to you about more of our, our different programs at Conestoga. Great, thank you, Jason. Uh, and last but not least, we'll have Angela from Sheridan College. All right, good morning and thanks everyone. Uh, so great to hear all the info whenever I'm in these, I wanna go back to school. <laughs> so I actually went to uh, Thunder Bay, to Lakehead and, and then Brock and Conestoga and Sheridan. So, uh, and so like Jason said, the pathways um, you know, are really incredible, especially nowadays. You can virtually find a pathway in any particular field that you're passionate about. And it's really just taking that education and really thinking about what you might want to to carry on with what else you might want to do in the future. I'm just going to show a quick video. Hopefully um, my sound's okay and I did this right. And uh, this explains a little bit about Sheridan and, and uh, gives you some sense of where we are in our programming. Welcome to Sheridan. We do things differently here. To help navigate an increasingly complex world with confidence, we aim to equip our students with the ability to relate, innovate, and evolve with resilience. Simply put, there's nowhere else like it. Since 1967, we've grown from a local college of 400 students into one of Ontario's leading post-secondary institutions. Annually, we educate nearly 25,000 full-time students and more than 18,000 continuing and part-time students in more than 130 programs across our three campuses. Our Hazel McCallion campus, located in the heart of Mississauga, was built to lead gold standards and is home to our Pilon School of Business, as well as our visual merchandising, interior design, architecture, and creative writing and publishing programs. It's also where you'll find our Edge Incubation Hub for early stage startup businesses. And it's getting even bigger. We're currently expanding the campus to include 70,000 square feet for student athletics. Davis Campus in Brampton is our largest campus housing our applied health, community services, engineering, and technology programs. This exciting and multicultural community includes our state-of-the-art Magna Skilled Trade Center, where we teach our skilled trades and apprenticeship programs, as well as our Center for Advanced Manufacturing and Design Technologies, where we train the next generation of manufacturing professionals. Trafalgar Road Campus in Oakville is the home of Canada's largest art school and features an on-campus gallery that showcases the brilliant work of our students and faculty. In addition to our Faculty of Animation, Arts and Design programs, Trafalgar is home to a number of programs in science, technology, and health and community studies. At Sheridan, our commitment to providing a distinctive learning experience extends far beyond the classroom. Our Center for Student Success supports students through a wide array of services, whether they're in need of advice, counseling, tutoring, or anything else. Our accessible learning services ensures that any students with disabilities enjoy a barrier-free access to education by tailoring accommodation planning and services that correspond with their specific needs. Finally, we offer work-integrated learning opportunities in more than 80 of our programs and created a virtual internship program last summer to assist students facing challenges securing internships during the pandemic. And this program will be back again for 2021 to support students. Want to learn more about Sheridan? We have a wide range of virtual options to connect with us. Get more information on our weekly webinars, one-on-one -on -one advising, drop-in sessions, and virtual guided tours. Visit our website at experience.sheridancollege.ca. So hopefully you could hear that and it gives you a sense of the campuses. So again, our largest campus is in Brampton. 
Uh, this website, I'll put the link in. Uh, you could see some stories of students that have gone on and done some incredible, incredible things. Uh, Trafalgar Road, again, if you're into the arts, and then a HMC, our smallest campus in Mississauga. So I encourage you to look up our research and incubation centers, our work integrated learning and co-op opportunities. To typically, when you're looking at a postgraduate program, that's what you really want, that, that uh, work experience. And so um, I look forward to hopefully seeing you in the breakout room. And it's just wonderful to, to, to meet everyone. And thank you so much, uh, Kyle, for, for hosting us today. And thanks to the students that have attended. Thank you. Uh, so I'm just going to stop the recording now.